crazy. It's all the trekking, you know, and the off-road, up beating trucks in Angle Complex. Just incredible memories, you know. And I love to get up and leave this kind of atmosphere. Wow. And a bunch of animals, including monkeys and birds and stuff like that. Wow. Wow, it's a beautiful day. Good morning, Angle Watts. Good morning, this is Kim. Um, I'm a professional tour guide in Angle Complex for 15, 20 years. Um, I'm exciting to get up early to get the sunrise, and now I'm here at the Prasad Krawans, one of the small, tiny brick temples. But it's very old, it's like built from 921. Um, my passion is uh, to share all this amazing history, culture, everyday life to the world. And my expertise is doing off-roads and sunrise tour and especially the photo ops. show you one of the tiny brick temples in the jungle from the back roads all right let's go I see some butterfly as well the temple of brick is coming up uh, the name is Prasad Krawan it's really awesome you know I love their five towers of the brick temples as you can see from that beyond just amazing this temple has been abandoned for many years until French found this and do some restore but in the killing field also another abandoned so um, there were landmines around this temple before and all has been removed and opened for tourism since 1991 when the all Angkor Wat and the rest of the temple in Angkor complex were belong to the UNESCO sites so let's go have a look I'm excited to show you the Prasad Kovan, which is built in 921, dedicated to Hindu, considered Vishnu God, one of the earlier temples. And most temples were dedicated for Shiva. And this temple has been um, growing by over by vegetation, trees, and stuff like that until 1930. Um, a Frenchman came from France uh, to try to restore. His name is George Drouet, and um, and the Maxile. So 1930 has been clear and a little bit of restore until 1962's uh, Bernard Philippe from friend as well. Um, he tried to restore like 30-40% of it, you know. So we are living under French colonial for 90 years between um, 1863 to 1953. So this 90 year a lot of French uh, scholars and researchers has been doing a brilliant job for most temple in Angkor. Uh, re renovation and clear and collecting all the statue uh, to preserve in their Angkor conservations. So I'm so excited and this is beautiful pink brick temples. Quite small but very interesting inside. I'm going to show you the Vishnu statues and um, his wife next me. So let's go have a look. This temple was beautiful and um, so quiet as well, very peaceful. Um, I love to share how um, the angle rising and how the angle declines. The angle rising from 900 to 1400, so it's like five centuries empire, and there were 28 kings uh, rising the empires, and um, there been so many different monuments. And the most uh, economically is trading with China and India. Um, also, we do very amazing water management systems. We have four largest reservoirs around the whole Angle complex. And it was about um, three quarters of the million people in Angle complex. And most of them were supported 
the Qing Dynasty, you know, they believe in the Qing as a god, so they have um, amazing water canals and uh, reservoirs, cutting all the trees and to manage the function of water reservoirs to support the rice paddy. So we have city crops of rice per year and supporting um, the empire, and they build a bunch of monuments. The reason why Angkor declines, by recently, um, the researcher from Australia, University of Sydney, his name is Damien, and a Frenchman called Christophe. They've been working hard years and years to find out the water system management uh, has been damaged. So finally, they used the uh, LIDAR with aircraft and shooting the LIDAR from the air uh, down to the ground through the jungle, and their LIDAR can go through the jungles around 12 centimeters to the ground and they finally find roadways and uh, water tanks and kind of shrines, about 300 shrines or temples underneath, you know. And uh, back then, in the 1280s, it's pretty much like Los Angeles in the United States because Los Angeles have, uh, in 1950, they have like roadways, thousands and thousands of swimming pools, but back in 1280s in Angkor, there were roadways and water tanks and reservoirs, you know. But unfortunately, um, in the 1400, like 1320, uh, in the South Asia, there were climate changes. So climate change, they make isolated between making a monsoon and making a drought. Um, that's why we have drought for many years, and um, their system of water management has been collapsed. So, you know, we have to stop doing all the work. And in 1400, we have to move to other capitals, like Phnom Penh, um, consider a curly capitals. Um, they found out on the Mekong Edge or Mekong Delta is better for fish support and water management, you know. So Angkor definitely would collapse in 1400, so pretty shame. And it, the same thing happened in other um, civilizations in the world like Sri Lanka, you know, um, in uh, Central America, Maya culture and Nats and Dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm here pretty much in the southern east of uh, Prasad Kowan. I love the landscape here. The tree is giving a lot of shade as well. I hear the roosters. I love how the brick work and about 20-30% um, is a new brick. So let's go have a look at mostly original brick from back then. And the brick itself is still survived more than a thousand years because the temple built in 921 AD was dedicated to Hindu Lord Vishnu. Beautiful day. I love the cannons, take a great photos. And um, ladies and gentlemen, you know, if you think this is values, hit the like button to subscribe to channels. We we'll see you in the next videos. Peace.